Welcome to the Lads AM Podcast, a show for those late night ramblings you only get when the rest of the world is asleep. This show is available in both podcast and Let's Play form. Check out our social media to find out how to listen the way you want to. Tonight, we are playing... Unpack it. Cul-de-sac dream, but it's also on Dustin's route. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know. I If I order some shit on, some weird shit online, I don't know if I want Dustin knowing what kind of packages I'm getting. I'm punting all your packages onto your porches. Wow, rude. Just letting you all know now, <laughs> when we all live in a cul-de-sac, and I get packages from five different houses in a cul-de-sac, they're all getting punted onto your respective <laughs> porches. Rude. I'll set up a... Uh, I'll set Actually, up, like, I'm going to punt them and they're going to go to the wrong address in the cul-de-sac. <laughs> I'm going to get some Matt's mail. Yep. He's just going to be in, the, in like the middle of the street. He's just going to put them all and it's like, come get them. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to drive around and I just put a set right here in the middle. Cornucopia style Hunger Games. Yeah. <laughs> all, all you guys get your mail. <laughs> he takes all the labels off too. So we don't know who's who's. It just, you just take what you can you have get. to open each other's mail. Uh, this is my credit card statement. <laughs> George, I think it's yours. Uh, I know we're here to film a podcast, and I know it's about the podcast, not the game. But, like, also, technically, you could argue we haven't started yet. So, what the fuck is this game? Um, You are unpacking. Yeah. And doing what with that? Um, well, you take things out of boxes and you put them where they belong. Just like I'm going to put you where you belong. Oh my god, all if right, I guess we're starting. Yap, if you yeah, keep I, yapping. I could have figured all that wait, out, Robert. Wait, let me get this straight, Matt. <laughs> you want me to be on the podcast, but you don't want me to yap? <laughs> if okay. You keep, if you keep Good yapping. Good luck with the podcast, have fun. Who uh... asked? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I need you to yap, man. No, nah, man, I need you to yap. Yap, man. Ah. Yap, man. Oh, There's no, no need to The writer of the not yap, man. There's yap, ah. man. <laughs> Singing two completely different songs. <laughs> uh, let's get going. You're a master of yapping and friendship for everyone. Yap, man. Ah. Ah. The writer of the yap, man. Ah. This book belongs to me. Alright, so Matt. Yeah. Oh my god, I wasn't even born yet. What's up? How are you doing? Me? Yeah, you. Yeah, you know, man. You. I'm going. You. I'm going. Ooh, yeah. I'm living. Cool. How about you, Dustin? I'm doing pretty good. Peak season's just about over. So I don't hey, have to come yeah. in early all the time. Nice. And do a bunch of packages. Nice. I might be able to help on Discord sometimes now. Oh my goodness. You might be able to put some time in with the company? Yeah, I might be able to put some time with the company. Let's go. Oh, oh, I, I can put on my cat ears again. <clears throat> Get the yeah. dust off of them. <laughs> yeah, Nia. Yeah. Oh boy. How have you been doing, Robert? Uh, Tired and still slightly hungover. What? <laughs> There's no way. What do you mean? You From forget it's him. I mean, you, I mean, it's been, I it's know. been pro- 20, pro- it's been 24 probably, hours. Yeah, no, I'm definitely exaggerating. <laughs> I'm like, oh my I'm God. tired though. Okay, I think that's, I think you're just tired. <laughs> I don't think you're hungover 24 no, hours no. later. Hey, I believe you, Robert. <laughs> to be I'm a fair, true I had. Three drinks in the span of like an hour. Three trulies. Mm-hmm. No, it wasn't, they were not trulies. <laughs> they, they were real drinks. You're right. Dude, they were real the, drinks with like vodka out. and rum. It was, it was uh, real time. Yeah. yeah. You missed a fun time, unfortunately, Dustin. Sadly, yeah. You know, it's a shame because you texted me if I, if I wanted to go. And I was mm-hmm. like, no, sorry, I had to hit the hay in like half an hour. I mean, we I figured the answer was no, but like, 
I Georgia appreciate was you just picking me up, and we were like, you know, Dustin is in the neighborhood. I appreciate it. And mm-hmm. I was about to go to bed. And I don't know, you know, sometimes you go to bed, you're just thinking about stuff. You just think about stuff in your head. And I was thinking about how tomorrow was going to, or today, you know, how I was mm-hmm. going to go. Like, okay, going to go to work, going to do Route 7, could do podcasts later in the day. We'll see what I can do in between, depending on when I get to work. I'm doing Route 7 tomorrow. I'm going to be on Route 7 tomorrow. Oh, no. Route 7 is a walking route. I don't have to come in early tomorrow. Damn it. Wait, what? Oh, well, guess I'll watch anime. Oh, wait, so you could have gone out? Apparently, yeah, but I had already told you no, so I wasn't going to text you about an hour later saying, actually, never mind. <laughs> I mean, so I decided on like, Actually, I can. Where are y'all at? I'll meet you there. Eh. Yeah, we're at yeah. bar until like 12.30. No, hey. sorry, no. I got home at 12.30, so we were probably there until yeah. like midnight. I re- realized today that I was trying to advocate to see if uh, Fanning wanted to come. And I realized that today that he couldn't have. I told yeah, you no. yesterday he couldn't have. He wouldn't have been allowed in. Oh, well, that too, yeah. Yeah, no, I... I knew that he, I didn't know, I just remembered that I was seeing if he wanted to come, and then I re- I realized that he, even if he wanted to, they wouldn't have let him in. Yeah, ID before you come in. Damn. Dustin, the plan is that we're going to, like, fake, we're going to come up with, like, a fake, uh... A fake hangout. Like, a fake hangout, like, we're going to go get food with, like, Stanley <laughs> or something. Yeah. But instead, we're going to take him to the <laughs> take DMV. To the DMV. <laughs> <laughs> to get yep. his new ID. <laughs> Yeah, yep. we'll book That's him what... an appointment. Yeah, we're gonna have to book him an appointment somehow. And then, and then, as we're there, he's gonna try to convince us still that it's just impossible for him to get a new ID. Dude, you don't understand. They're literally they're totally booked till the year twenty thirty seven. I quite <laughs> simply cannot book ahead of time. It's impossible. It's impossible. And not only that, dude, I spent the whole day being being annoyed because also his phone doesn't work still yeah so yeah, after we bring him to the, the internet, DMV right? we're gonna bring him to a phone repair store come to fucking <laughs> AT&T or whatever get him get it fixed yeah we we also did kind of this was this was really funny we did kind of like terrorize him a little bit <laughs> during yeah. the day so me oh and my goodness, me and Georgie. You, 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 yeah, you say what you did, and then I'll say what happened. With me and George, So originally, me and Georgie were going to go to the gym, or we were going to go to sign up at the gym, but then we realized we couldn't because there wasn't anyone that there that day to sign us up. So we're like, okay, we'll wait. But we they were uh, planning on hanging out. We were just like, okay, I suggest we go to a couple record stores. Like we do sometimes. And normally when we do that, Fanning sometime comes with. So I was like, we should ask Fanning if he wants to come. Uh, we call him on his phone. He doesn't answer. We realize we can't message him on Discord because his phone doesn't work. He can't check Discord if he's not like at home or on Wi-Fi somewhere. So that we're like, all right, well, what do we do? I open my mouth and I'm like, hey, would it be funny if we called him at Party City? That's <laughs> And, and then and then George did it. And we were like, yo, are we gonna have to ask um like we're gonna have to ask for him? And then immediately as he they pick up the phone, it's him. Oh we perfect. Laughing. And we ask him if we if he wants to go. And he's like, No, I'm closing, I won't be out till later. And we're like, damn, all right. And that and that was just that was the end of it from my perspective. <laughs> So, cut to about 20 minutes later, Dustin, okay? Mm-hmm. I have no knowledge of anything going on. You you weren't even there. Was not with Matt and Georgia. Was not with Fanny. have no knowledge of any of us, okay? Mm-hmm. But I'm running errands and I need to buy something at Party City. <laughs> <laughs> so, I go in the store and I see Fanning. So, I go over to him. He's, like, busy on a shelf, and I scared the shit out of him by accident. Uh, I walked up to him, I was just, like, working hard, I see, and he was like, holy shit, Rob, you startled the shit out of me. 
And then this motherfucker starts interrogating me. Where's the others? Where's Matt and George? Where's the others? I was like, what are you talking about? I don't know where they are. There's, he was like, there's no way that you showed up here on your own just to visit me. You gotta be with the others, so where are they? I was like, dude, I'm here to buy something. And he was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, what are you going on about? And then he explained the situation to me. I'm like, oh, no, I had no idea that they had called you. He was stressed out. I was so, oh my goodness, I was so taken aback. That's pretty funny. Oh, it was hilarious. I know he's here. I know they're here. Where are they? He starts checking. <laughs> He looks at the big div, like the big giant teddy bears. He starts ripping their heads off. Thinking Dude, he goes to there. the back Where office and is reviewing the security footage. They, they know they came in. I'm they gotta be here two, somewhere. Looking for like a dude in a like a dude in a, like two dudes in a trench coat. <laughs> no. Matt, what did you mean by there was no one at the gym to sign you guys up? Uh. There, uh, no one that worked in memberships was there. I guess. Ah, what gym are you going to? If you don't mind saying, uh, it's the one at the mall. The one that George's brother works at. Yeah, that's how we knew there was no one there. Oh, yeah. It's weird. To uh, I don't know. Typically, a gym is just whoever's working there can sign you up. Yeah, I I I wasn't too sure. I signed up. I wasn't too sure either, but I was just kind of going along with it. I was like, okay. Although that, that is kind of like a fancy, smanchy gym, so they might have a whole membership team, I guess. Yeah, maybe. I just kind of was like, okay. Like, okay. That's fine. We'll go next time. Yeah. No worries. George and I have a plan to start going to the gym. Nice. Uh... I, I realized that we picked well. We picked uh, the same the worst person. time of year. No, no, well, well, true. I suppose that's why I was also surprised that there wasn't anyone there. I was like, oh wow. I mean, I kind of figured. I think it doesn't start yet. It yeah, I think that season will start after Christmas. Speaking of which, though, anytime. so I'm hoping that this, but we're gonna find out if this finally pays off, but. Uh, now I do a little bit of dabbling in the stock market. Sure. About four months ago, I noticed that, I think it was Planet Fitness, their stock was like the lowest it had been in two years. So I bought stock specifically with the idea of selling it like the first week of January. Ah. Because, like, surely their stock will go up with the New Year craze, I'm thinking. Yeah. So we're going to see if that logic is accurate or not. That's fair thinking. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, speaking yeah. of things you missed from yesterday, though, Dustin. Mm-hmm. Magic Mike. So, yeah. Well, I, I assumed that you guys didn't go to the movies. And you didn't no, go to a strip club either. <laughs> you didn't go to so the I, I, I kind of ran out of options. You sure, you sure we didn't go to a strip club? Well, Bit Bar isn't a strip club. Yeah, we could have gone to multiple places. Did you Why? go to a strip club? No. Okay. My guess paid off then. <laughs> yeah, you were right. Yeah, no. No, you want to explain that? Uh... There was a guy, there was a dude who like walked up to us. It was actually pretty cool. He had this like, uh, yes, you want to see some magic tricks. And we were like, yeah, obvious, obviously. Oh, and yeah. And then he stole all our money. No, uh, and then he just he did like these cool kind of card tricks. And he had like this like wallet that looked like it was specifically meant for it. Or maybe he just repurposed had a, a wallet that really worked because he had like it was like a Rolodex of like different cards, like different like groups of cards. I thought it was really cool. It was like that sounds pretty cool. 
Yeah, and then he had a really long Santa hat. I don't even know if his name is Magic Mike, but he said he made a joke saying that his name was Magic Mike and that they took his i they took his uh he took his name. Wow. Uh, the movie took his name. I don't know. It could have been a bit, but we were calling him Magic Mike for the rest of the time. Yeah, he just did a bunch of card tricks, man. That's yeah. kind of walked up, and then we and then right. he was still there when we when we left, and I'm like, damn, he just likes hanging out here. Always good to see Yeah, a cool guy. Yeah, he seemed like an N- he seemed like an NPC. He'd make him an NPC in the <laughs> next campaign. I might. <laughs> guy named Mike, <laughs> Mike that just goes up and does card tricks. He seemed really, like pretty he, cool. Yeah, he just seemed like a a D and D tavern guy. Uh, there's a guy. Oh uh, yeah, what else do I see? Um, there's a guy doing car tricks oh what's his, <laughs> what's his name um, magic mike mike and he does magic i guess magic mike? i guess <laughs> not the stripper well depends on how far the story you get hey yo so i just checked to my plan of fitness stock hmm since I bought it, uh, my total return has been forty dollars. Dang, dude! Congratulations. So I'm already at forty bucks profit on that. Perfect. Yeah. <clears throat> Stonks. Yeah, I only do a couple. I'm the if uh, what I'm really need though. If I'm gonna make a lot of money on the stock market, what I really need is for the federal government to get their shit together and. Fucking legalize uh, weed. There it goes. Yo, That's they should what do I that. Need. Well, so I have a bunch of stock in a marijuana company. And they're basically fully prepared to, like, go national in the U.S. as soon as it's federally legalized. And I've already made some money off of them, but like, I need them to federally legalize it so that I, this goes like insane. Hmm. A poster. Hmm. Hmm. <gasps> oh shit! You're right. Dustin, you shouldn't have said anything. Let him figure it out. No, I appreciate his help. It's not just going to leave me hanging. I'm not. Mm-hmm. Yo, I had a... Uh, so... Question. Yes. yes. So you know, like, anime? I do know anime. I'm vaguely familiar with the anime. And you know how people, like, really like some anime characters? Ugh. Is this about uh, George and Annie? Well, it kind of. It, it okay, follows, go on. It follows a similar trend. Okay. Has do you think anyone thinks about like logistically like liking a character? Because I'm thinking like, what do you mean? People who like will take. They're like, oh, who's your your waifu? Mm-hmm. And they're like Asuna or Mikasa. And I'm like, really? Like that? They seem that seems like a pretty like tough relationship to try to break up, <laughs> right? Like they are in dedic they are in like dedicated relationships. Like, are you really are gonna you- try to? You're, are you really gonna try to take on like <laughs> Aaron? Aaron Matt, are, you, are you telling me that when you think of? Your waifu or your favorite character, you think of like how you would break them up first. <laughs> no, is that I, what you're trying no. to? No, I'm just saying. Matt, let me that... go with you for a minute, okay? They are a fictional character. You don't need a detailed plan on how to steal the girl. <laughs> you, you, you just imagine you guys are together <laughs> if that's just where you want to go. No, I'm not. You need Riz. Like, they can no, just, they can just break up with by natural reasons. <laughs> <laughs> they can just say, I'm yeah. not. No, what I'm saying is... <laughs> I just... 
<laughs> I mean, like when people like genuinely are trying to, like, no one do they, do they think do they, do people ever think about it? No, yes, I feel like that's kind of an insane. I feel like that's kind of insane. The whole concept Why? is insane. It's not that it's, insane. It's they're like, not real. I know they're not real. Okay, but to them they're real because no. they're already delude. They're already delusional. You're talking about like insane wife. You're talking about insane people. I am talking about. I'm talking about like the people that are get made. There are like the archetype. That people like on tick, like the well, like the support, ask, you know, like. But if I like ask George, who his waifu is, he might be like Annie, but like he's not over here, like actively fantasize. Well, I don't know, maybe he is, but I'm not. I'm just saying. I'm talking about like this. Like imagine the Segoy guy. Segoy. Yeah. Segoy. I'm talking. I'm saying. Think about the real person that exists that is like that. Okay. These, these small, the, there are there are not a lot, but you know what? It has to come from somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Sure. I'm saying that, like, the they when they think about it, uh -huh. at some point mm -hmm. when they they have to be like, yeah, I, I'm better for I'm better for her than than Kir Kirito. Yeah. I don't think I don't think they do. I think they kind of think along the lines of. If anything, they think along the lines of, oh, perfect, because my real life crush has an actual boyfriend. That's when I really have to worry about that. But since she's fictional, I don't mm. have to worry about that. Hmm. Just I just think it's kind of I don't know. Do they think they know. could take do they think they could take them in a fight? I don't think they think about that. Yeah, they don't consider that. I'm gonna be How honest. Are with you me. in their I mind? Think, are you I think Matt's mind? telling on himself. But you're the one asking me if people think like that. I'm wondering does, if anyone does. The person on this fucking planet who thinks like that, probably yes, sure. Eight billion ever, people. That's like I'm saying, wondering. is there anyone on this planet who fucking fantasizes about like toilet paper being on someone's head? I'm sure there's someone is. Yeah, sure, because I can't read the minds of every person on Earth. Sure. No, I think Farmer's sawing on himself. <laughs> yeah, you two are calling yourself to that thing. Quiet. Yeah, the, your answer can be no without you getting so hyped over it, man. Well, I'm I was just, just confused. I'm, like... I don't see what's confusing about it. I'm saying, is do you think that is ever a, a? Do you think anyone that's a thought that ever popped into their head at any point that they're like, yo, if I want to carry her around my Austin a body pillow, I might have to fight Kirito at some point. <laughs> or like, what or what do I, what benefits do I bring to the relationship that Kirito cannot? Do, do, all right, so here's the thing. Those are two different questions, I think. I think there is no one in their right mind who is asking, who is thinking the themselves. Put the toaster in the kitchen. <laughs> I was going to say, I wasn't going to say anything, but why the fuck are you putting a toaster on your shelf in your bedroom? It's because it's in the kitchen. There's rooms for a reason, dude. You're going to be cleaning anyways. up so much more after this. Because it's an anyways, 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 anyways. Um, there is a kitchen. Holy shit. What I was going to say. I didn't know there was a kitchen. Was that, um, fuck, and I have lost my train of thought. <laughs> Damn it. You and your toaster pissed me off. I was just looking for a place. I'll move it after, man. But, you never put a toaster in your room? Only when I was I in should. college. Actually, no, not even then. Anyways, um, here's the thing. Is there someone out there who is holding a real-life body pillow of an anime girl and picturing and wondering if they're going to have to fight a fictional character because they're carrying a body pillow? No. no that is not, not something that anyone no, is thinking. No, stop about. taking it so specifically. You're the one that gave that as an example. What I... No, it's like... You, you did literally you just say that. Maybe you just not gave, physically fight. Maybe Matt, not, not physically fight. Thing, you just gave two examples, so I'm addressing both of them. So the first one there, based on that, no, that doesn't seem reasonable even if it's not physically fight the fact of the matter is that you're saying someone is carrying a physical object a Something physical else. representation 
of a fictional oh, character. Oh, shit. They're not going to have to fight another fictional character. The second example you were thinking, which is, if I was in that world, I would have to fight that person. Yeah, sure, there are going to be people who think along those lines, yes. It's just, like, at some point, I'm just wondering if it ever, like, if they're, like, I, or, like, they are, dude, I can't believe she chose Kirito. I would be so much better. Like, do they ever think about oh, the other Oh, yeah, guy? definitely. Yes. Yeah. Yes. They, People do, think yeah. it all the fucking time. Do they ever think of the logistics of the fact that their character is in a committed relationship and that that could be a problem internally or externally some down, sometime down the line for them? Uh, yeah, some people probably would think that far down, yes. Like, that's what I mean by logistically. Like, does anyone ever wake up at night being like, this is something I might have to deal with? Not any sane person, but yes. I don't think we're do. talking yeah. about sane people here. I don't. No, I'm glad we agree on that. <laughs> I'm like, and, okay, you're, I mean, you're saying sane, and I'm like, all right, well, that's already not what we're talking about. Like, how do, and I'm like, I just want to know how do they approach that situation? I think mean, just kind of keeping their fantasies. Just think about, oh, dude, if I were to get in a fight with Kirito, oh, man. Uh, the I know all his weaknesses. <laughs> he didn't expect the three swords from me. <laughs> the three swords. Yeah, he's Zoro. Is this a girl's bedroom? No. No, it's just, no. It's just a dude who likes prize. What the fuck are you talking about? Well, no, because I thought it was like, unspecific and then i noticed the bras i don't know they could be maybe they're non-binary i don't know yeah, well, most, of the, most of the things in here are things that are like non-gender specific i feel like a and then there's bras yeah sure <laughs> also i uh, i you know what nope not even gonna go there not even gonna, never mind all right thank let's you yeah Knowing you, probably a good idea. We should start thanking yeah, him more when he says that. <laughs> Thanks. We should show our appreciation to Robert Moore. We should positive reinforcement. Can yeah. I like? Can I get like one of those like clickers to be like, oh, when he hears a noise? <laughs> oh my god! Like Pavlovian. Pavlov me. Yeah, dude. Do you think I could? No. Do you think if I, you think if I wait? Okay, so obviously Pavlov's not now. dog. It only works on dogs. <laughs> Obviously not right now because I brought it up, but like, okay, well, let's say I wait like six months. You completely forget this conversation happened. Okay. You mean six hours? <laughs> six wow. Hours. <laughs> like, I mean, not wrong, but you know. Do you think I could like subconsciously like Pavlov you? It would you depend you how notice. you went about it. Like, obviously, if you go around clicking something, I'm going to fucking notice. You, you Pavloved me. What are you doing? Stop <laughs> Pavloving me. <laughs> But like, if you if you started offering me like a Jolly Rancher, then it's possible that I might not notice. Or you start like giving him inspiration in D and D. Every time you do, I think that is. I think that is what inspiration is supposed to be. I think it's supposed to Pavlov you into <laughs> to <laughs> a cool Act shit. like a good D&D character. <laughs> yeah, I think that is the, essentially the point of it. Mm. I mean, it works. Does it work? Uh, I don't know. I don't somewhat? Know. I don't know. I don't know. You kind I of think don't that you don't inspiration inspiration. Yes. I don't do it enough. That is true. Yeah. And who's like any time we've gotten inspiration was like very weird circumstances. Yeah, pretty much. I, think I don't think I can't think of any time where you were like, "Hey, good job, you." Here's an inspiration. No, he's it was always it was always something different. No, he's definitely done it before. I just can't think of any specific example. I'll do it more. Yeah, I'll start now. Yeah. All right, all right, Matt. Next, next session we do. Which, granted, going to be a couple weeks, but next session we do. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
I want you to give one inspiration die to someone. Doesn't have to be me or Dustin. It could be anyone you think for any reason that you think is worthy. But I want you to give it to someone. All right. The odds that I give someone inspiration and they remember they have it is very low. I mark that down when have... I get inspiration on my uh, cheat sheet. I don't. <laughs> Just since I don't have a sheet, really. So. What do you mean you don't like... have a sheet? I just have a picture of my sheet on my phone. <laughs> Why do you not do an online one? I am aware of this and I am okay with it. Because I've, because I'm, the online ones are kind of hard for me to use. So I'd like to stick into the real life paper one. But then I lost it. So I just had to use a picture that I took one time because Matt asked us for our character sheets one so time. Why don't you just make a new printed one? Then? I'm just good with what I have now. And I mean, yeah. a little late now. A little late at this point. Like, that yeah. as well, yeah. I mean, if you want to make a new one for uh last couple sessions, go for it. <laughs> Arguably doesn't even matter anymore. Yeah. Almost time for the, the big battle. The big... No, the big one. Oh, the big one. Yeah. Yeah. I've been thinking about that a lot. Really? Yeah. Yeah. In what, in what way? I have a plan for it, and I've been, like, really conflicted about doing the plan. Oh. Oh, boy. Is that a Is plan it... you care to share or no? Not at all. Oh, damn. Oh, uh, okay. I don't get to know. Are the plan is that it has to be a surprise. A surprise for Matt? All right. So three characters for around one, one enemy. <laughs> and we stun them infinitely. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the backup plan. <laughs> if the first plan doesn't work. I mean, the, fir the first plan is easy whether that will work. It's whether or not I should do it or not. Uh, the answer is yes, I believe. Got it. Quoting you on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go for it. I mean, just quote Matt from back when, I, when we were doing the Pokemon campaign, which is... Do you want to be the DM that allows cool shit or the DM that follows rules? Poké a las dos. Huh? Poké a las dos. I don't speak Swahili. Me neither, man. Huh. Wow. We have something in common. Neither of us speak Swahili. Yeah. Guys, what's your opinion on two-in-one body wash and shampoo? Um, I, I've, I want to say I've heard that it's a scam. Yeah, because it says two in one body wash shampoo when in reality it's neither. Yeah. It's neither. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. So the small group that I watch Pokemon anime with, uh, one of the people watching is a girl. And I'm pretty sure we had a conversation where she went on like a five minute rant about two-in-one body wash and shampoo and how useless yeah. it is. Yeah. Does it just not function? It doesn't work? It's like false advertising or something. Pretty sure it's like the equivalent of you use like dish soap on yourself or like laundry detergent or something. Oh, really? Like it's not it's not really body wash and shampoo. Hmm, but it is if I buy them individually. Yeah. Or is it just a problem with all body wash? I think it's just a combination. Oh, okay. Could I not just... Would I be better off just buying body wash and using it for both? No, because I don't think that's supposed to go in your hair. Mm, interesting. I'll look more into this. Yeah. But, yeah. I'm going to ask the experts on this one. Oh boy! Talk to right. uh, talk to some guys. Get some get some data. Get some crunch numbers. Crunch numbers will be crunched, and drafts will be drawn, and formulas will be solved. Nice. And. Uh, I think that's it. I think that's science. 
Perfect. If I'm not mistaken. Hmm. Oh, yeah. And by the time this comes out, I uh, hope everyone had a good Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Every year, the holiday season feels less and less. Dude, I was... I, I know we talked about this last year, but... <laughs> it's, I mean, it's relevant. Yeah. No, I agree. I was just, I was just thinking, like, I was leaving work on Friday. And my boss said, have a good holiday because I'm not working Christmas this year. And I was like, what? What do you mean? What holiday? And he, he was like, Christmas is Monday. And I'm like. Yeah, but like in three weeks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, sh- it is. No, no, no. In, uh, in about 40 minutes, it's going to be Christmas Eve. Yeah. That's insane. I did the same. I mean, I did the same thing. With no with uh, November with um, Thanksgiving, it just kind of happened. Mm-hmm. It just kind of came. It just came and went. And I was like, "How did I not?" I feel like holidays used to be. Mo- yeah, I feel like holidays used to be like I waited for them. Like I was excited about them. Like I the think idea even more that- so. Like it feels like other people don't care anymore. Yeah. Like, I understood when I stopped caring, really. I can tell you this. But now it's like everyone care. else stopped caring. That's kids good. Don't care. That's good. Mm-hmm. Keep it alive. Keep the dream alive, man. Yep. Is it easier when there are children around? Easier or what? Caring. Like, do you have, because you're nephews? Do they care about Christmas yet, or are they not old enough for that? They're barely sentient. My, uh, Bronson, like, Bronson, I guess, has recently gotten into unwrapping gifts, and that's really about it. He just just likes tearing shit. Oh, he he was, he did enjoy, oh, this will be funny, actually. So, um, in my house, we had two things set up. So my mom sets up, like, a little mini uh, village. So it has, like, fake snow, there are houses, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then separate from that is we have a manger set up with, like, baby Jesus and Mary and Joseph and stuff like that, okay? Yes. Um, And both of them are low enough that Bronson can reach them. So the other day I walked in... And Bronson was having baby Jesus doing parkour on the rooftops. Yo. Nice. Like he the, would have. Like the Bible. That's what they uh, said. The yes, as the Bible foretold. Baby Jesus There's... would say tr- sick tricks and then <laughs> do an ollie. And that's how Christmas was formed. There's no reason to believe that Jesus didn't do parkour. There's just as much reason to believe that he did. That he didn't. Yeah. Answer me that one, uh, Christians, atheists, mm. anyone? Answer if me that. People question. can believe he was white. I can believe that he did parkour, <laughs> and that he did a uh, he made a skate a skate video, like in Tony Hawk. Hell, if people can believe he walked on water. I can believe that he skateboarded. Yeah, are we getting into are we getting into religion? Is that, is that what we're doing today? No, no. That's why I'm talking about Jesus parkouring. We are solely staying on if any religious figure needs to be doing something cool, and that's it. Mm. I will not. I will not bring religion here. Okay. So what about Muhammad? Do you think it is parkour? What's your fake oh, 100%, ice cream? Bert? But no one could ever see it. True. Sorry, Matt. What were you saying? Our favorite what? What's your favorite religion? Uh, Buddhism. Do you, what do you do? You, what religion do you think is better than all the others? Oh, actually. Oh, wait. I got you. You ready? Uh, Norse oh. mythology. True. Actually, kind of cool. 
I keep Norse asking mythology which one. Fucking awesome. What? Oh, no, Norse. Never mind. Not Greek. And not Greek. Norse. Which Greek god do you think Troy J follows? Zeus. Uh, Dionysus. Hmm. Interesting. Mm, that, mm, probably. Interesting. A tag. Uh, quite the tag yourself scenario. It's, yeah, but we have to tag him instead. Doing it right now. Yeah. Oh, this is a picture. Um. Let's see. You say Dion? Why? Just because alcohol? You say Dionysus? Uh, I say Dionysus because it's like alcohol and. Um. Uh... She horny. That guy is the guy. Wasn't he horny? Yeah, uh, I think so. Was he? Perfect. Perfect with Georgia. <laughs> was he in the... Was, he's like, I can fix her. Dian, famously a, a no, Dianite, Completely so normal cool. woman. <laughs> These two, Fanning and Georgia, just threw out the entire Game Awards. <laughs> just a woman. I can fix her. <laughs> What's there to fix? <laughs> <laughs> or there'd be like wood to a totally conventionally attractive woman. Like that's not wood. how that works. That's not when you say wood. <laughs> they are. They. They are. They. They have. Are they just too comfortable? Is that the problem? Yes. yes. Oh, we you need to start. We need to start spraying them with water. Every <laughs> Anytime. time they, they do that. Do you remember when we were at the uh, that restaurant in downtown? Yes. Yeah, and God, I said, save uh, you, you, <laughs> you're like, save it for the Discord. <laughs> yeah, I was like, save it for the Discord. You, you and I were just cringing next to each other. <laughs> I was like, oh, I can't. Why are they talking so loud? Yeah, I was definitely like getting like secondhand, like, oh my god, I can't imagine. I was like, get me out of here, dude. Those two are just a couple of cards, I tell you. A couple, a couple, you know, th th those guys are a card game. Oh, you know, a card game. I'd call them a card game. Yeah. Well, because it's two of them, yeah, so. Full game. Full game. New game plus even. Ooh. Do you think, do you think that our group is in new game plus yet? Do you think we've achieved anything to, to call us new, to, that we've finished the game? <laughs> no, probably not. What do we have to do? I barely understood what New Game Plus is, so I couldn't tell you. New Game Plus is like you get to play the game again, but with like, but like you get to keep all the shit you've already unlocked. Yeah. Like, uh, I'm trying to think of a good example. It's like if you. Um, Wait a second, you're seven. And now you're ten. I don't think I'm ten. I think I'm older than that. Oh, we uh, love oh, I guess. Uh, yeah. Up. I think I. Okay, I think yeah. So I, you weren't born in two. Never mind. <laughs> we got our own. We got our own. You got your own room in 1997. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That makes more I sense. I'm an adult. Sorry, that really threw me off guard for a second. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, damn, at 10, you can afford this? Where are they living? That's when Republicans tell you you should have been investing in the house market 10 years ago, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you take advantage Dude, of the 2008 crash? The guy was I want to do this. I want to <laughs> do this, but in like the, uh, the 200, 200, like the $2,000 new york closet apartments yeah that like i don't know if i could even like stick my yep. hands out we couldn't even fit in there yeah i want to yeah i want we should go to one of this let's go to one yeah just invite ourselves to someone's apartment yeah or like go to an open house for one. Ah, oh, fair yeah uh george a said poseidon oh you asked him yeah. Yeah. Did you not say? No. He's playing what's, his game. what's his reasoning? I, I think he's typing it out right now. 
Oh, no, he just didn't know how to spell it. Or repel it. <laughs> Jeez. I'm going to hit him with it. I'm gonna oh, yeah. with, I'm oh, gonna get... minor, minor spelling mistake? Minor spelling mistake. Yeah, we've never called anyone out for anything here. No, that would be horrible and mean. Yeah, that would be terrible. We would never do that. We would never get one GIF and constantly be ready to post it, it at the moment's at notice. Moment. We sort of have two ready at a moment's notice, but we're so like gun shy about the other one. What's the other Which, one? We're not gun shy, but it's like beating us to the point where we're just scared of it being used on us. The um, epic embed fail. Oh, okay. yeah. We only <laughs> only named it hurts the whole all of us yet. so much. We make sure it's like okay, well, this embed work. <laughs> yeah, we all we got burned too many times. I don't know about it's you guys. Right core. I have a, I have a, uh, I have a different, a, a Discord server that I made specifically for trying stuff. If I, if I'm, a, if I'm a little bit shaky about it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Because I'm not, uh, I'm not about to get got. Damn. He it doesn't want to get hit with the epic embed fail. It means too much, man. So I don't use it for stuff like that. But in my Discord, there is a channel that only I have access to. And the whole point of it is for me to test shit out. But I don't use it to test that kind of shit. Yeah, it's it's so... It, yeah, the, the sole purpose is uh, to make sure, because it just... It's terrible, man. Yeah. We... we how did we create such a hostile environment? Discord gifts really have that power on you. Discord gifts are great. Discord every time does I something good every now and again. Every time I like just type in a phrase in Discord gift search bar, and I scroll through it, it's like, wow, Discord really is a big place. Because how did anybody think to make these gifts? <laughs> like what happened? Oh yeah, like um, like double epic embed fail. <laughs> Yeah, like enough people have seen have been like, OK, I try to embed something. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, let me try it again. It also didn't work. So we're like, all right, well, now we need a gift for that. And it happens enough times that it actually shows up when you search for it in the search bar. Or it's like, get on every game ever. Yeah, like any game you think of, get on. Like the get up, like get on Lethal Company was there, where like at the very beginning. Like I didn't even need to wait for like someone to make it. I feel like from its inception, someone was. There must be there must be people who like use the get on things all the time. Yeah, that must be their primary. That must be their like at gamers, who's up, who wants to do something. That must be their version of it. Probably, well, yeah, especially yeah. if they're especially one big. Discord servers have like specific channels for certain games. Yeah, they must well, be... get on Fortnite's. Get on Baldur's Gate 3. And it's two girls kissing. <laughs> and they're both boys. <laughs> get on Roblox and it's Bakugo and Deku kissing. It's just oh so boy. Mean, it's crazy. Get on Fortnite, it's a cat Levi. <laughs> Get on voice chat and it's Aaron interrogating his dad. <laughs> Wait, get on what? Get on get voice on, chat. Get on voice chat. <laughs> I'm gonna add and, that's a favorite. That's a really funny. One. <laughs> it's Aaron harassing his dad from the future or the past. Yeah. Like... <laughs> the the rule the you ever seen the uh, the rules? Like if you look up rule like different rules on Discord. Yeah, that's my that's a really good one. <laughs> Everyone just kind of got on board with that one too. Everyone's like, yep, no, this is what we do now. Do not ping staff for no reason. Rule one, no Genshin impact. And it's <laughs> they're all jacked dudes. Yeah. <laughs> rule one, no being friendly in chat. Rule twenty six, no speaking. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Rule B, no asking for roles. <laughs> Rule eight, no harassing other members on Discord. <laughs> Again, it's just in front of a jacked guy. Yeah. It makes no sense. <laughs> Rule 111, no Clash Royale. And it's Goku going Super Saiyan. 
<laughs> Rule two, not safe for work content is prohibited. Just why do people come up with these? I don't know. It's so weird. Is they're bored. This court is such a huge place. It fascinates me. <laughs> there needs to be in the future. There needs to be studies. I was I was thinking about this the other day, Matt. When did when did Discord first come out? Do y'all remember? Two thousand sixteen? No, earlier than that. Thirteen? No, it was not early. No, no, no shot. It was earlier than that. Because this is what I realized. Okay. Actually, twenty fifteen. May twenty fifteen. May twenty fifteen. May twenty fifteen. Really? Yep. Damn. Okay, I really thought it was a little later than that. It so then here's my question, okay? Maybe it's because of just how new it was, but like suppose it came out in 2013, right? Mm-hmm. There was absolutely gonna be a Peabody High band Discord server. I think there was. I was never on it. Oh, because they don't like you. I mean, obviously not. You, it didn't you... get fucking you know who really? did get in there, though? You? A band president. There was a Steam group. There was a Steam group? Yeah. I think there oh, was like really? five people in there total. I don't think it, it never really took off. Uh, but uh, there was. Uh, you, 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 fair, I don't know you, who the fuck you, uses a Steam group. Dude, I'm in a I'm in a couple Steam groups from when I played a... Uh, TF2. Aren't you yeah. in a Steam group that like doubts the existence of Minnesota or something? Yeah, right? Minnesota. Yeah, I'm in a Steam group that's called uh, Minnesota Doesn't Exist. Yeah, what's the evidence? Yeah. Uh, that it's not real. Okay, and what's the evidence? Mm, it's not real. There is no evidence. It's just not real. Hmm. And if any time in the in the group, if you if you wanted to write out the word Minnesota, you had to put in quotation marks or you got banned. Oh, <laughs> I, I always wanted to test my luck at some point, but I never wanted to get kicked out of the out of the, uh, the steam group. So I, I. So I was uh, I was smart. I, w- I went with the, the group. I wonder if I can find it. I'd have to find it on my on mobile. How do you even get to? Oh no, never mind. I found it. Turns out you can Figure find you can find Steam groups on mobile fairly easily. Oh no, it's Michigan. Ah, uh, Michigan. I knew it was yeah something. Oh well, that makes more sense. Michigan's definitely not real. Yeah, everyone knows I, that. I say that I have a friend who lives in Michigan. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. Michigan isn't real. It's not possible. To put to put into perspective, someone tried to revive the group in a post in 2015. And that oh, was wow. the last thing posted. Damn. Uh, Steam groups might be dead. Uh, the the way the description of it is: Do you really believe all that Michigan bullshit? Hello, thank you for visiting this page. This group was invented on 9 6 2014. Try to rid the very untrue myth that Michigan actually does exist. If you ever hear any of these nasty rumors from someone, make sure to tell them person that Michigan doesn't really exist and you'll be helping society. By the way, you know how this group is legit? Just look at the red lines on the profile picture. Those red lines are freaking straight. And it's it's the silhouette of Michigan with very crudely like hand drawn paint hand drawn in paint uh lines I over saw, Michigan. I saw a subreddit be created the other day where it was such a weird thing. I forget what the thread I was reading was, but someone had posted something about the country of Trinidad and Tobago, which is a Caribbean, a Caribbean island nation. So there's two islands, Trinidad and Tobago, right? Yeah, it's where you get a hotel. Except uh, when they, except when they were posting about it, they forgot about the second island, so they kept referring to it just as Trinidad. So someone made a subreddit called "Forgotten Tobago" or whatever it is. 
They were just like, Tobago keeps being forgotten. This is blasphemy. They weren't getting remit by this one play. Oh, okay. This one comp like. What what was the purpose of it? Oh, it was a meme. Oh, okay. The purpose of the subreddit? No, like the original thing. Oh, I forgot what it was, but they were answering some sort of a question. I, I, I'm trying to rem I, I genuinely don't remember why it was brought up in conversation. I just know it's something I saw on Reddit. I wonder what part of human evolution was like. Like something like people notice, oh, they just instead of being like, hey, you forgot. To mention this place. They're like. Now I'm gonna make us. I'm gonna go make a place and talk about people how this place keeps being forgotten. Like that's the logical step in their brain on what to do about it. I want to know how we got there, as a society. Internet. True. True. Internet. It broke all a, of our brains. And is that a good thing? Probably not. It's. I mean, I don't know. You could see it as like community. You know, you yeah. could all see his community, though. We have a community. I love. You know, community. you could also see his community. What? Your actual fucking community. I don't like my community. Ooh, drama. What do you not like about your community? It's bored around here. Boring around here. Is that what you're talking about? The city it is kind of boring around here. Yeah, it's boring. I mean, we got more going on than like a town of a thousand, at least. I don't think we would. I think it would actually be a lot more interesting to live in a town of like a thousand people. Where you know everyone. I, I think about that a lot. Yeah. Well, it'd be like yeah, living in a super small town. Yeah, y'all want to move to a small town? Yeah, let's move to a small town. I'll be the one teacher for all of middle school. I'll be the one mailman, I guess. Perfect. <laughs> and you, you deal mailman. with all the retirees, Matt. Oh, that's what's, the, uh, what's the process for organizing a town? Uh, like, what do we have to do in order to create our own town? You probably just have to... I think the closest thing you can do is just get enough people to live in a place where you get, like, a... where you can basically control a, uh... like, a vote. You know what I mean? Like, get, like, a whole district. And then they all vote one way. I don't think you, you'll, like, actually own the town, but... you'll essentially control it. I'm not saying own the town. I'm saying, like, start a town from scratch. Oh, well, first you need land. I imagine. Okay, sure. So we buy some land out in rural buttfuck Arkansas, sure. Yeah, but would they, would they let us, like, take, claim it as a new town? Or would they just be well, like... That's what no, I'm asking. Hmm. What's the I process wonder. of creating a new town? Probably well, we need permission of whatever, wherever we're building a town in, right? Yeah, like who do we? And then yeah, they I probably guess. have to deal with all the boring stuff. Yeah, like whether who, or not they want us to build a town. Like, who do we go to to like get our town like notarized or validated? I imagine state government, right? Yeah, out of the governor, or there's probably like a special chair for like towns. That's gotta like, be. Oh, like, I'm the secretary of towns in this state. The that's secretary of be, towns. Yeah, that's gotta be someone's like secondary job. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like they have it's an not actual... enough for someone's primary job, but their secondary. Yeah. Well, how often? Yeah, in, in are case someone wants to make a new town. <laughs> if someone wanted to do it, it's like, yeah, it's something they could do, but it just kind of got thrown at them and like added into the job description. And they have to like, and if someone comes to them, they have to like get a book that says how to do, and they have to blow the dust off of it because it hasn't been moved in years. Mm -hmm. They're like, hmm, well, the process is actually quite complicated. And it's written in ye old English, so. Good luck translating trans it. You're going to have to translate this one. Um, Good luck. D20? Oh my god, the D20 were cool. Um, 
Is that the play instead of a instead of the cul-de-sac? Just get our own town. It's just having a, a whole town. Is that the play? Maybe. Maybe it might be cheaper. Um, no. Because if we just say we want a town here, and they say, "Yeah, okay, sure, you're a town there." Yeah, and then we could just, we we just to, work on the other have, stuff later. Yeah, but we don't have to build all of our own houses and stuff. Well, we have to like pay. Same like, thing with the cul de sac, though. Taxes? We wouldn't have to buy. We could buy houses. We don't have to build them. Do you think there's special taxes for copper towns that we'd have to pay? Probably, yeah. Like we would probably have to have like a. We there would probably be we'd like have to tax we'll, each other. <laughs> we would have to tax each other. True. There's probably like a certain minimum requirement. Like you have to have there's this a... many. Like you have to have this many buildings, this many people. All right. One can school. I... Oh, maybe. Hospital, oh, states might have different definitions of what a town is. All right. Can I make a proposal? Yeah. I nominate sure. Stanley for mayor. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll take any. I'll do. I'll take anyone. Okay. Well, he can be mayor. I just feel like Stanley would make a good mayor for the people, you know? For the people. Yeah. But like, what if we have to... I don't know. I think it's going to be more difficult than we think. What, to make a new town? Yeah, no shot. Yeah, it's, it's going to be like... a conversation for a podcast. It's going to be like... We're gonna have to find some like it's gonna be like we need a hospital, like a hospital is gonna be a requirement. Maybe. Right, yeah, none of us know any medical training. Technically, you don't need a hospital in a town. Like, you, I mean, you to, uh, probably, where we, probably where have to have like a doctor. Doesn't have one. I feel like I feel like the bare minimum for a town would be um, the the uh, Stardew Valley. Like, the town in Stardew Valley has a doctor, has houses, has an eatery. I feel like they have the bare minimum. And that's a town of, like, 20 people. I feel like we'll get... Yeah, so I think what happens is you get, like, a list or you should get like a list of things that you have to have in order to count. And it'll be like a, like a checklist. Yeah. It's like if you get these things, you can be formally recognized as a town. What's the, what's the, so what's the bare minimum we need? Okay. A doctor. Um, why couldn't you just go to the next town over for a doctor? Um, because sometimes you need a doctor right away. Okay. And, and the I, next town could be a five minute drive away. But what if it's not? Okay. Okay. Then the, the, okay. Then the, th the situation is probably you need access to like medical care within a certain range. And if okay, you have sure. one, and if you have one close by, it can count. But if you're in the middle of nowhere, like you said, they're probably going to be like, damn, you should probably have one because we don't want a bunch of people moving here. And you ain't got a doctor. Fair. So it's probably like within a certain mile radius. So, so it looks yeah. like reading into it, it looks like there aren't any requirements like that to start a town. So what are the requirements? Uh, there aren't any really. You get a land okay. survey uh, that establishes what your borders of your town will be, and if it's if it's not crossing into some different town, and if it is crossing into another town, uh, you just need to get signatures from at least fifty one percent of that town's population to agree to start your town, and then after that, you just need to get legal approval. Which in some states this simply involves filing paperwork with the judge, and others you might need approval from the state legislature. And after that, you have a town. All right. So wait, 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 wait. read that list one more time. 
So it starts out with a land survey. So where okay. you like, figure out what your borders are, making sure you're not okay. crossing into Saying what the borders are, sure. Yeah, yeah. And even if you are crossing into another town, like you're trying to maybe you're trying to combine with another town or something, you need to get signatures from at least fifty one percent of that town's population. Okay. And after that, oh, wait, wait. What... so if we try taking land from another town, mm-hmm. then we need that town to vote and agree to it. Yes. Okay. Okay. There goes my plan. And then once you have those signatures, you need to get legal approval, either from a judge or from the state legislature. Okay. Well, there we go. Hmm. So, uh, how do we get people to come to our town? We don't. I was going to say, we don't. I thought, I thought the point us. of the town is just for us. I thought, I wait, saying, did, they say, is, didn't you say you needed like 51 people? No, 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 you... no, no, no. They're saying, what Dustin said is that if our t- new town takes any land from a pre-existing town, then the residents of that pre-existing town, 51% of them have to agree. Yeah, you have to uh... sign off on it. We need signatures from 51% of that population. Yeah, you oh. don't need 51 people. There are towns with only one person living them. Oh, okay, cool. We're good then. All right, so we need somewhere where land is cheap. Land is cheap. And... Love is free. We can just be left to our own devices, basically. So, uh, where are we thinking? How do taxes work? Because surely, Dakota. Have, surely we have to pay taxes to the government. Hear me out. Hear me out. Okay. And that's a conversation we'll worry about after we've we could, in town. <laughs> we started. We could. After we owe the government a ton of money. We yes. could potentially become the reason, the one reason that people want to visit North Dakota. <laughs> I bet Ooh. land in North Dakota is cheap. Local podcasters start their own town. Please leave us alone. Stop visiting our town. I know it's funny, but we we don't have enough room for this people. It's like that like little community okay. where they were gonna do uh that uh, alien area fifty one festival. Yeah. And the guy was like me and the it was like a it was like it was super small, like fifty people. And they were like, yeah, we might have to put us into like a state of emergency because we're thinking like a thousands of people are just going to show up and we do not have the infrastructure for that. <laughs> it's like, all right, if you want it. All right. It's like, a, you know, the Mr. V videos where it's like, hey, if you can show me that you're subscribed, I'll give you something. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what they have to do to get into the town. They have to be subscribed to the podcast. Perfect. And then you get, and then they'll get, we'll get, and then they'll get like randomly checked while they're here. And if they've unsubscribed while they're not here, wait, executed. Man, we just made the next Mr. Beast video. I created a town and I gave 100 of my subscribers homes in the town. Now they got to make a functioning society in the town because they're all living here for a year. And then at oh. the end of the year, they'll get to choose if they continue living there or not. You you want Mr. Beast to make Kid Nation, is what you're telling me. Uh, yes, but without Bleach. You're doing a great job of building a town. We're going to see how they respond to this earthquake. <laughs> We're going to see how they respond to killing chickens. We gave this, we gave this sucker a shortcut. Yeah, we should. <sighs> we need When's, to watch um, Kid Nation again. We do need to watch Kid Nation again. We missed our rewatch back in May. It's all right. I'll just make it. Th- it'll just make it that much better when we actually do. Yeah. Yeah, man. We'll remember less of it. Therefore, it'll be. It'll feel better. It won't. It won't feel like we've watched it before. I hope. And also, we need people who haven't seen it. You need, I, th- I feel like, bare minimum, you need at least, like, one or two people who haven't seen it. 
Yeah. It needs to be new to someone in order to really get the right experience of it. Yeah. You need that like that shock. Like someone who does who doesn't who genuinely doesn't believe that it's real. Yeah. I think if we can get that, we're good. True. But we've all seen it. All three of us, right? Yes. Yep. We are all there. But I don't think Fanning had. No, he had not. Because I think that's who we were trying to get to watch last time. Mm-hmm. Weren't we also going to get him to watch uh, Total Drama Island? Wait, had Fanning not seen it? I think so, yeah. I think he hadn't seen it. We were going to get oh him to watch it. Oh, God. Okay, we're doing all of this. Yeah, we should watch Total Drama Island now that Survivor's over. Yeah? Yeah. How'd the finale go? Um, pretty solid. Pretty solid. Nice. Did Rupert win? Uh, what? Did Rupert win? No. Huh? That sucks. I saw people complaining earlier in the season that, like, I guess three episodes in a row someone voluntarily left or something. Oh my god, the beginning of the season was a fucking train wreck. You were complaining and he stopped like bringing pussies onto the show or something. So it was <laughs> it was just unfortunate casting, basically. So very first episode of the season, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, this tribe goes to tribal, and everyone is basically on the same page that this one girl named Emily has to go. Okay, mm-hmm. she just annoying. Um, yeah, she basically came off as annoying and abrasive, and her personality was just not clashing with them, okay? Yeah, fair. Well, one of the other girls in the tribe basically was like, yeah, no, it's day two, and, uh, yep, I'm already ready to go home, and why should they have to go home when they want to stay, whereas I don't care either way, so I'm just gonna quit, so bye. So she quit and already that's like the first person who has quit in like four or five years. So already it was kind of like, damn, that sucks. Mm -hmm. And then just like two episodes later, a guy from that same original tribe, okay, uh, ends up going to tribal council. And it was someone who I was rooting for. Like, I liked them. I was like, I hope they win. Mm -hmm. And they had their back up against the wall, but it looked like they would be able to successfully Mm -hmm. argue to get themselves to stay, okay? And instead, they showed up to Tribal Council, and they basically were like, I love all of you so much. I can't bear the thought of voting any of you out. So I will be the sacrifice. Vote for me so that all of you can stay in this game. And it's just like, bruh. Wait, isn't that the... Isn't that just the guy from Danganronpa? Uh, I'm not sure which guy you're talking about. Makoto from the second game. Isn't that... Mm, Not exactly. Basic, yeah, minus the killing, sure. No, he's, I'm, he's like, no, he's like, I'm saying more than that. He didn't want like, anyone to die, he didn't intend to die. Hmm. Oh, he is dead. Wait, is he? Uh, he died, yeah. Oh, wait, no, you're sorry. I'm, I got confused with who you're talking about. Sorry. Mm. I, I know who you're talking about now. Well, you're Rob. using your code words for Danganronpa. Rob spoiled the game for me right now. He's trying to backpedal on it. No, no. I thought you were mm. thinking about uh, Byakuya. Oh, no. Fuck. I thought maybe I could have got him. <laughs> I'm going to trick him into, I'm gonna trick him into to, to, to spoiling something for me. Yeah? Yeah. Man, it's probably not going to be that hard, so, you know. I'm just going to be like, damn, it's crazy that character died. And you're going to be like, yeah. And I'm like, what do you mean, yeah? 
I haven't gone to that point yet. Dude, spoiler alert, everyone dies in that game. There are no survivors. No survivors. Anyways, so yeah, that kind of left a really shit start to the season. Uh, because you basically had two people quit very early on in the game. You're talking like days two and like six. Mm-hmm. And it's like, are you kidding me? Um, so yeah, it was a really rough start to the season. But after that, the season kind of picked up a little bit. That's good. Interesting end. Uh, for the first time in like y- almost 20 years, a uh, relationship couple basically formed on the island and made it all the way to the end. Wait, the oh, wow. Uh, yeah, the two of them and a third person made it final three. Oh my god, Polycule? Uh, once again, the uh, the girl won. Of course. So uh, to be fair, she played a fucking hella so good wait, game. Wait, you're telling me at the end there, someone was just awkwardly third wheeling? Very much so, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I, okay, I would have quit after that. Well, the guy who was third wheeling had been trying to get them out for, like, a long time at that point. So even more awkward. <laughs> a little, yeah. But, like, he just kept having bad break after bad break. Poor guy. Yeah. I would hate to be like one of like the tragic characters. But yeah, it was a five to three vote, but uh uh D beat Austin. Wait, Dustin was there? D e. beat Dustin. No, no, D. That's her name. Like D E E. Oh beat Dustin? beat Dustin? Yes. Dustin no, they beat there. Austin. Oh, DB Austin, and yeah, I read I, I, beat and I, Austin. D beat, uh, and I heard that as Dustin. Damn, yeah. I heard DB Dustin. I was like, what does that mean? No, is that no, for, no. was that something I was supposed to understand? What? No, <laughs> D and Austin were the two who were yeah. kind of getting on. Um, not confirmed. Uh, it might be confirmed as of now, but as of when I looked, it wasn't confirmed. Uh, I think they're both still dating each other, too. Nice. Yeah. Are they fridge they're... magnets? What? Oh, they could be fridge magnets. I've been trying to figure out what I've been trying to figure out what these are. They are um, fridge magnets. Holy shit! Oh my god! Nice. Goodness. I've been trying to figure. out... I thought maybe they were like pins that go on the dress or mm-hmm. something. I was trying to figure out. They are fridge magnets. Sick. Hell yeah. Dude, I could not have my own house, apparently. Yeah? Apparently not, no. No, because I'm out here trying to put fridge magnets on dresses. You, you, just, you just need me there with you to tell you what things are. <laughs> my own my own things. <laughs> Matt, stop putting your toaster in your bedroom. Matt, stop putting your toaster in your bedroom. It's Matt, stop looking. putting your toaster in your bedroom. <laughs> it's a sick looking toaster. Matt, it why really are you putting is. your computer mouse with your underwear? <laughs> Matt, <laughs> that's a computer mouse. And I'm like, I'll get there. I'll do it. I think it's going to start flashing red. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who this person is. They're sick. They play D&D. Yeah? Yeah, he's the cosplay. D&D. Yeah, they do D and D. Does art? She's a real nerd. Does art? Does she like Damn. want like? Does she have like. I mean, a, it doesn't have to be so mean, Dustin. Does she like want my? Being phone a nerd's number? okay. Does she yeah. want like my phone number? Does she like my phone number. <laughs> <laughs> and she works out. Pog. Pog. Yeah. Plays guitar. Out. Damn, so what's wrong person? with her then? Nothing. Uh, well, <laughs> if we need something for Georgia to fix, we're gonna have to find something. No, yeah. apparently we don't. <laughs> the way his brain works, <laughs> he'll he'll find it. He'll just say it. And doesn't need to elaborate. Did he? Uh, did he tell you guys about the 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 girl he matched with on Tinder? 
Oh, no. and how and how uh, she left him hanging with a weird conversation. Yeah, yeah. I didn't wait, hear. Dustin, have you not heard this? No. So, um, oh Georgia matched. Is, uh, so weird. Georgia matched with a a girl on Tinder, and they were talking about. They got married. What? Yeah, they're, in a, they're in a relationship. These are nice. Not um, Georgia and a Tinder girl. Not Georgia. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess. I'm not busy. I'll tell. No, 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 no. I got it. I got it. So, George, so Georgia matched with a girl on Tinder, and they were talking about like r- like rabbit holes and stuff that they've gone down. Okay. And I read the message, but Georgia basically wrote a whole message about the 1904 Olympics. Which okay. is like this, uh, which is like an Olymp. It was uh, in St. Louis, and it's like famous for being like a shit show the whole time. Yeah, and like there was one guy that was like he like the rape. He won the race, but then it turns out that he had he called a taxi halfway through. He, and he stayed at a hotel or something, right? Yeah, there was one guy that was like there was one guy that was like giving people rat poison, thinking he would help. Right. Him yeah it was it was it was it was insane yeah yeah. but there, apparently also there was like a doctor who was like hmm i have a theory that people are gonna run better if they're dehydrated i know i'll prove it by not giving any of the marathon runners any water right <laughs> yeah uh also so- like i also like i pointed out to george i um 1904 right uh-huh. This is before air travel is that common. And you're going to put it, the Olympics, in St. Louis, Missouri, which is in the middle of the country. So anyone who wants to get here from, like, Europe, they have to take a boat, get to a port city, and then travel inland so far. I, mean, yeah. I, I wasn't on the committee. But yeah, so basically uh, he talked about how the Olympics were shit, and then she just ghosted him. Really? Yeah. yeah. Wait, so yeah. who... He asked about the rabbit, like, the rabbit holes that you go yeah. down? She asked about rabbit holes, and he mentioned this one. And, and that just wasn't a good enough answer for her? <laughs> I, I was like, at first, I was like, dude, she's probably looking it up. But it has been days. It has been days. You got caught down the rabbit hole. Yeah, that's what I was saying. She got <laughs> caught in the rabbit hole. A week hole. later, she's like, dude, you're right. This is crazy. That's what I can only hope for him. Or mm-hmm. don't hope for him. I would like him to play D&D still. For him. <laughs> Yeah, no, we were talking about it the other day. I'm like, you know what? If she can't appreciate it, she's not the one. Yeah. Bullet dodged. Yeah. Um, have you been thinking of stuff for the next campaign, Matt? Yeah. Nice. You want to share some fun spoilers? Mm-hmm. Or teasers, I guess you could call them. You're all dead. You're all dead. So I, when you, when you figure that out, who knows? <laughs> uh, I know the one town that there's gonna be, and like there, it's gonna have like a whole mystery around it. Ooh. You're gonna have to solve that at some point. Um, I have, I know, like that. There's going to be, like, you're all going to be from, like, a uh, area that's either north, south, east, or west of the main city. And, ah. for, re- and for reasons, you're going to be basically immigrating there. West. If you want to be west. Sure. Dude. In bef- okay, make the west a uh, hellscape on Earth. Honestly, I'm fine with that. I'm making the West the worst place possible. 
everyone from the West is um, blind. And uh, uh, they have really bad anxiety. Damn, I could handle being blind, but like the anxiety? Oof. They have anxiety about blindness. It's not a good combo. Yeah, it doesn't sound like a good combo. Yeah, so be prepared to roll for anxiety every session. Hmm. Please roll for anxiety. So I have a question with y'all. Yeah. Yes. So with Christmas coming up, uh, favorite Christmas memory? Memory on Christmas. Yep. Or Christmas adjacent. Like if it's something related to Christmas. Um, crib, Christmas. I don't think. Uh, I don't know, I really have a favorite Christmas memory. Really? Like I enjoyed like seeing my extended family during Christmas and Christmas Eve. Mm -hmm. But no specific actual thing happening. Okay. So like every Christmas is kind of like you wake up, you open your presents, and all day you play with your presents and then we visit the extended family. Okay. And then that was it. What about you, Matt? Christmas. Hmm... Because, like, I know I have two that come to mind for me. What's that? There were, yeah. Oh. Are, you, uh, are you sharing that or should I? There was one year that I got, I, I've had a, so I've had this one, like, stuffed bear, like, my whole life. I got him at a fair and he's, he's green. One Christmas, I got another stuffed animal. I think it was like a moose. And he was wearing uh, like a sweater that had 2005 on it because that's the year it was. I remember that I promptly took that sweater off of that moose, put it on my bear. And I don't think I ever looked at the moose again. Damn. I was brutal. Apparently. I took his I took his clothes. He didn't Damn. deserve him anymore. I gave him to my Dropped bear. Dropped him bear. naked and left him homeless. Bro. Dude, he he's probably on the streets. I don't know where he is. My bear, my, my, hey, my OG, my day one bear, he still got the, he still got the threads, man. Yeah, that's oh, what I, I do. Then. Is that what you were looking for? Sure, I mean, it, whatever is your memory, you know? Dude, my memory. As I was saying, I have two that come to mind for me. Uh, the first is from two years ago, actually. Where, like Dustin said, one of the nice things about Christmas is being able to see extended family. And I spent, like, the whole evening with my grandmother. And I just had so much fun with her. And then it ended up being that she passed three days later. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. But it was still, it was bittersweet because, like, I got to spend so much time with her that day and I'm so glad I did. So, and then the other memory I have, though, was when I was a kid, when I was like 11 or 12, I asked for an Xbox 360 for Christmas. And. My mom made it clear that she I was not getting it. Like, she was like, you're not getting this. And my dad, I guess, decided to basically overrule my mom and got it for me. But he made me fucking work for it. So, this was what I had to do. You ready for this? Yeah. I open up a present, and inside are just a variety of tools, including, but not limited to, a compass, string, a hammer, 
in a note. And I forget exactly what it went, but the note said something like, go to your math textbook and open up to these pages, read this word on this page and stuff like that. And I was like, what the hell's going on? So I do as it says. And then it goes on. And eventually I had to start like doing orienteering in my own house where I was like taping up string and using the compass to determine what direction to go. And at one point I'm looking outside and outside, keep in mind, it's like snowing out. There is just a giant block of ice and the note says, go outside and smash that block of ice. And I'm like, are you kidding me? So I ended up getting all my snow stuff on. And then I'm just sitting there holding a hammer, smashing a block of ice because there's a laminated piece of paper inside. I thought you were going to say that the Xbox was in the No. And it was like so, you just smash it to pieces and they're like, what'd you do? No. So I finally get the laminated piece of paper and eventually it gets to a point where it tells me to get a certain gift somewhere. And finally I get this small little gift, right? And on top of the gift is another note. And of all the things that note could say, I was not ready for what it said. Because you, after all that work, you know what it said? Yeah. Mm. Give this gift to your sister. <laughs> Yo. Got so right I give it to her. She opens it. Uh, and along with the her gift in there was another note, which once again directed me to a different present, and that was the Xbox. That's cool. It you was an insane. It, it really was an ARG. It really was. My dad, he had a habit of doing those. When we would do vacations in Maine, he would do that all the time, like a scavenger hunt. And he always did such a damn good job with them, too. It was really insane what he was able to do. You ever say how long he like would have to prep those for? Um... I don't know how long. So the ones that he would do when we were on vacation, um, basically he would just come up with the places he hides stuff, uh, fill out pieces of paper, hide them. All in all, probably took like a couple hours of preparing. Not including time to just think about what to do. But for that Christmas thing, I know he told me that it took days to make that ice block. Because, like, basically, I think what he had to do in order to get it, like, frozen the way he wanted it was, like, he had to start it off small and then freeze it layer by layer, basically. Jeez. Yeah, so I know that part took him days. But I don't know how long it took him exactly to plan the whole thing. But it was definitely one of the most surreal and weirdest Christmas experiences of my life. That's cool, man. Yeah. And, uh, I hope to, uh, help do something like that for my nephews one day. Yeah. Maybe plan something out with their dad, my brother-in-law. When they're sentient. Yeah, I gotta wait a few years for that. As part of the chosen, the chosen wouldn't one. care much if they did it. If you did it now, yeah, don't I don't think they, the they will understand. They just they would just see like a piece of paper and be like, mm, "Oh, guess, guess I'm still ripping paper." Okay, okay, all right. There's loads of this stuff. Mm -hmm. You get more paper. This is the best Christmas ever. 
it's it's that uh you know the kid the clip of the kid that's like it's an avocado yes thanks thanks <laughs>